Mm. Now, let's look at the Ashanti region. Let's put it in perspective for you. Mm. What has their voting pattern been? It would not be right for you to think that they only vote NPP. No, mm. there are some clear you know, uh, differentiations, and we'll put that in perspective for you. So, Johnny, walk us through the numbers. Clearly, hmm. the blue line up there right. talks about the NPP's That's dominance That's in correct. the Ashanti That's region. That's correct. Well, let's, let's begin from the number of seats. Um, so this is 43 seats for the NPP, and the explanation is that there are 42 seats originally for the NPP, plus one independent, Andrew Isyama from Formina. Mm. That will make it 43 for the NPP. Because he has decided to do business, business with Business the with them. So that's how come we put it this way right. on it. But uh, the, at the last count, NPP had 42 seats, mm -hmm. plus Formina, the independent seats will be mm. 43. Mm. And the NDC had uh, four seats Previously three, but they added one. Mm. Um, Muntake seat, for example, has been one, one, one of the uh, strong, strongest for the ND, NDC in that area. Mm. Now, you look at the electoral record from um, 1996, because in 1992, the MPP boycotted the election. Yeah. But in 1996, um, you would find that the, the nation was still in that Jerry Rollins frenzy. Right? That was when Jerry Rollins was seeking a re-election, a yeah. second election. He had, the NDC had 32.8% of the total votes. The MPP strongly had 65.8% of the votes. Mm. You come to 2000, when Jerry Rollins was leaving, President Mills was coming in. Jay Kufour, the new kid on the block, had come in. He d tipped it up to 74.8%. And he got that favor also mm. because... He was a son of the soil. Fantastic. From Ashanti region. Absolutely. So Absolutely. just backed him. <laughs> Absolutely. 22.5% for the NDC. Then there was a runoff. Mm -hmm. It was not a done deal. This was when all the other parties came together, joined the NPP, and you see that it tipped further yeah. uh, upward 80.5% and, and dipped that NDCs. of the NDC to 19.5%. And then in 2004, that was when President Kufu was seeking re-election. Mills was still in the race. Um, it comes back to the earlier position that they had. This time, not a runoff with uh, all parties uniting. Yeah. So it, had, it actually uh, tipped from 74 to 77%. And then the NDC had 21.8%. If you look at they're still within the same... Uh, you know, and then in 2008, the, the NPP um, <laughs> lost that election to President Mills. That's 72.5%. Mm. And then the NDC had 26.0%. Uh, 74.4% in uh, 2008. There was a runoff. In fact, the, the 2008 election had round three. The time being yeah, the, the time final one. Things. But there was a runoff again. And you'd look at the numbers uh, pretty much like what we had in uh, the other runoff. Right? Great. Yeah. Now you go to 2012. And then you had 70.9% for the NPP and 28.4% for the NDC. Uh, this time, the NDC showed strongly, just like they did in 1992. Mm -hmm. Come to 2016, you had 23% and then 76.3% uh, for the NPP. And then in 2020, 71.6%, which was a dip from the 2016, where the NPP had almost a million foot differential, mm -hmm. the first in the history of Ghana's uh, electoral uh, victory to 26.1 uh, in 2020. Oh, yeah. What this means is that what you see here could possibly be affected by the breakaway by Alan Kudu by Chet or million. Mm -hmm. In three, two that are different are the FIA constituency in the Western region, Entama Central and the Greater region. Right. But the top eight of constituencies that vote and do not waste the ballot, so to speak, are in the Ashanti region. Right. So that the Ashanti region is a region to look at. Conscious of for. what they do when yeah. they go to the ballot. That's